So apparently, Vehicle Simulator has gotten an update. <laughs> Thank you for making that very clear, everybody. Um, I just want to say, I really appreciate you guys going out of your way to let me know that there is an update. So for those of you who did, I'm going to give you guys a quick little shout out at the beginning of today's video. Tricksters, welcome to another video. Dudes, there is like a lot of stuff I got to talk to you about. A bit about the update, actually I would say probably a lot about the update, and a little bit about something super special that happened yesterday and I just really want to share it with you guys. So before we do that guys, let's go take a look at a couple of the new things that have been updated. There is quite a lot of really fun things that have been updated and I can't, I can't deny that this update has got me extremely excited. Mostly because of the new racetrack, um, but also, of course, because of the new truck. They updated the uh, Ford Mustang, which is something that I think is really cool. Personally, they buffed the Ajira, so there's a lot of stuff we're going to be doing videos on at some point. But for now, dudes, I want to show you guys something super awesome. So I think... It's, it's not, okay, which track is it? I think the track is right here, yeah. So this is the Around the World track. What that means, guys, is literally, um, I'm gonna put the map on the screen now, uh, the one that Sim Builder shows, but literally, you go across the entire vehicle simulator map. It is so cool. I don't know if we're gonna do that today, because I wanted to use today's video to take a look at the truck, but I think we, we're gonna do another video uh, probably either later today or tomorrow um, where we do some races on the track using the brand new Ajira. Also, just gonna let you guys know, then we're gonna get started. I'm doing a vehicle simulator live stream literally probably right after this video comes out. So if, you're, if you were part of the notification gang and you got this video in your sub box and you clicked on it, check afterwards. Check to see if I'm streaming because I probably will be. And we would love to have you guys on the stream. Um, oh, there it is right here. Toyota pickup, 1980. Dude, that is so cool. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said earlier, there's something else I want to get into, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Right now, let's get the Toyota pickup, man. This is cool. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This is one really cool looking truck. Now, there's a, there's a question that always floats around in my head after a vehicle simulator update, and, and that is, how does Vehicle Simulator pick which cars they want to add? Like, what made them want to add a 1980s Toyota pickup? What what was the incentive? What what was, like, the, the motivation for that? I have nothing against it, personally. I think it's really cool. I'm just curious, like, how do they pick these cars that they add? Um, but anyways, where is it? Where is my Toyota pickup? Where the heck are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, 1980s Toyota pickup. And, you know... That's the thing I really like about this game, is just somehow Vehicle Simulator adds these really cool cars that no other game would ever think of adding, and it's just it's just awesome. They, they just do a great job of it. Oh, and the sounds this thing makes, man. This is something else, dude. This is special. This truck is definitely gonna be something special. I mean, look at underneath, guys. You've got the entire exhaust system. You've got the drive shaft. Wow, they, they've literally gone out of their way to detail the undercarriage. I mean, they have everything. They even added a differential right here. That is super cool. The level of detail is just pretty unbelievable. So this thing is four-wheel drive. Yeah, the detail is really, really good on this, not gonna lie. And the interior, uh, be it that it is basic, definitely fits. Everything fits nicely. This truck is super, super cool. I'm a big fan of this, guys. I'm a huge fan of this. All right, now, this is just for a little test. I'm just kind of curious, how many gears does this thing have? I wouldn't doubt if it only has three gears. Um, let's just go around this. Let's see, let's see. I just, I'm curious. Oh, snap, guys. It's got a top speed of 7980 miles per hour. Wow, dude. Get out of the way of this thing. Oh, you know what? It's actually not that bad. 120 miles per hour? Wait a second. No, there's no way. How is this thing going 200 kilometers an hour? How? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think this might actually be a pretty cool race truck. I'm really inching towards modding this thing and making it into a race truck. Let's go do that. Let's make this thing into the perfect race truck right now. Okay, and before we do that, actually, let's get a quick little uh, quarter mile time here. I just want to see what ridiculous time we're going to get on this. I'm going to say 20 seconds. 
<laughs> I'm gonna say 20 seconds, guys. I don't, I don't know. That's a little, little bit of an exaggeration, but 20 seconds it's gonna take us to get from a quarter mile, okay? Um, but since we're waiting, I can tell you guys really, really quickly about this really cool thing that happened yesterday. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, what are you doing? You would have missed this if I didn't make this video about it. But um, what essentially happened yesterday was I was literally out just getting lunch with some friends and we were waiting in line, right? We were just hanging out, waiting in line, waiting to get our food. And then all of all I hear behind me is, excuse me, are you are you the are you the YouTuber Matrix? And I was like, wait a second. Yes, that's me. <laughs> and he literally there's there's I think three or four of them, and they all told me that they were fans. So essentially yesterday I met my first fans IRL. It was the most unbelievable, most surreal experience I've ever had. And like I said, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably never would have known about this, but it was just the greatest feeling. Like it kind of it kind of made all these like numbers and subscribers and everything feel like something more than that, you know? And anyways, we got a race here. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Follow me on Twitter, guys. There's some seriously cool stuff that goes on, but yeah, I, I just want to say, like, I really appreciate you guys. Like, thank you so freaking much for supporting my channel. You know, that was, like, the ultimate motivation yesterday. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. But, yeah, little bit of a story time with Matrix. You know how it is, guys. We got we to gotta throw that in every once in a while. But what time did we get? I don't think it was 20 seconds. I think we actually got a little bit better than that. Okay, all right, that's a good start. 11.2 seconds. I'll definitely go with that. Um, and then he got 6.4. That is not attainable in this truck. But let's go mod this thing out. I'm going to make it a race truck. And then I might make it an off-road truck later. But for now, it's going to become a race truck. So let's go get some cool mods done. So that was like 11 seconds, right? So we're going to kind of use that as our benchmark. We're going to try to beat 11 seconds. Uh, I don't know how much time this is going to take off. Hopefully a lot. Let's see. Okay, so um, I, I could spend all day modifying everything. Um, like, I really don't care too much about um, the cosmetics. I mean, this is a 1980s truck. It's not like... It, does, it doesn't have to be too crazy, but let's go right into the uh, modifications. And let's just go crazy, guys. Ludicrous. Um, we're going to get the best brakes. We're just going to go and get everything we possibly can to make this thing better. Rocket fuel. Okay, let's just go down the list, guys. Ooh, suspension. Hold on. Do we want to go with lowrider? I think... Okay, is it street racer or lowrider? Um... I'm gonna go with lowrider, why not? And for springs and everything, we're not gonna go with off-roading, we're gonna go with racing. So, yeah, this thing is gonna be awesome. All right, you know what? I didn't know they had a steel material. This is really good. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Primary, we're actually gonna change that and make that steel as well. I didn't know that this was a material. This is perfect. Yeah, we'll go with that. We're gonna make it really black. Oh, dang it. The really black doesn't cover the steel. Ah, uh, we can't go with it then. Yeah, this is good, guys. Uh, like, okay, window tin. You know, we could go with window tin as well. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just want to make this thing look cool. Alrighty, guys. She's all done. Not much looks like it's changed, but she's all done and ready to go, dudes. I am, uh, you know, we got a couple of stuff. I, I changed the, the front end with this little, uh, front attachment and the rear attachment. We changed the material to a steel so the bottom looks a lot more legit. Um, and then the rims, we changed them to a little bit more of a silver. But let's see what kind of times we can get on this thing now, man. I, I can tell you right now, it definitely feels a lot faster. So this is going to be crazy, dudes. I'm so excited. Let's go see what the times are now. Yo, we're about to go 200 miles per hour. What? Okay. Okay. 200 miles per hour. Whoa, um, yeah, that was not expected. All right, I think this Camaro wants to race against us. I really, really hope he doesn't have any mods done. Um, because if he doesn't, this is, this might be a win. This might be a win for us. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, let's do this, dude. <laughs> oh, man, I hope he doesn't have any mods done to that thing. His rims are stock, so maybe this is going to be good for us. Here we go, here we go. Yo, we're pulling on the Camaro. <gasps> we're about to be a Camaro. No freaking way, dude. This thing is something else. <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that. 
I thought maybe if he had no mods, then we might be able to beat him. But it looked like a really easy win for us. Let, let's take a look here. 8.7. 8.7. Dude, we shaved off like three seconds off our quarter mile time with those mods. Holy smokes. The 1980s Toyota pickup truck is definitely no slouch. If you want to mod it all the way out, you'll be surprised. You would be surprised at how fast this thing actually is. So, with that being said, guys, I, I'm a little bit speechless. I think we definitely outperformed what we were expecting. And we beat a freaking Camaro in a 1980s pickup truck. I don't think we can complain. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, very last time I'm going to say it. Follow me on Twitter. There's so much stuff going on there that I really think you guys are missing out. Other than that, guys, leave a like if you're excited for this update. Tons of new content coming out soon. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of new content coming out soon and a stream coming later today. So stay tuned for that, guys. Look out for it. And uh, I will see you guys later. Take care, everyone.